on Gerbil Space Program. We are going to go to the moon today. We're going to land on the moon, we're going to tickle that moon, and we're going to collect science from that moon. And I am excited. It's been a while since I've actually done anything with moon itself. Normally I tend to, I tend to stick around Minmus and mess around there because it's just easy to get to Minmus and easy to do things on Minmus. <clears throat> moon, a little bit harder, a little bit a little bit more gravity, have to use a little more fuel. But I think that we're going to manage it just fine. Also, I managed to get the rest of the science needed to complete our basic tech stuff. So, upon successfully going to the moon, we will unlock the next tier of science and be ready to experience awesome. Because, face it, we're going to get a lot of money for this. Oh, also, I, ins I uninstalled the tourism mod and instead installed a... Uh, Scansat contract mod. <clears throat> so let's take a look if we have any Scansat related things. I uh, don't really see anything new, but hey, perhaps something will show up later. So, not gonna worry about it. We have a mission to extract ore from the moon that we could accept. I'm not going to <clears throat> because I don't I don't want to mess with my rocket. I think my rocket's gonna be perfect. Although, I do kind of find this a little bit funny. Acquire 400 units of fresh ore from Moon. Have 400 units of ore in vessel. Put ore in orbit of Kerbin. Maintain stability for 10 seconds. So you don't even have to bring the ore back to Kerbin. You just have to put it into orbit around Kerbin. And that's as simple as taking off from the Moon and just burning until you aren't in Moonar orbit. That is <clears throat> that's just silly, honestly. But hey, enough of that. Let's see. Let's take a look at our our tracking station. See how things are going up in space. I got debris. I'm gonna have to clear out at some point. But debris can be pretty dangerous in space. <clears throat> But we have a couple communication satellites. I do want to get another communication satellite orbiting Minmus. Pretty much my goal is going to be to have a satellite around every celestial body that exists in this game. Hmm. I can see Tylo and Lathe. And Ike. Where's Minmus? Why can't I see Minmus? Minmus is so much closer. Yeah. Anyway, let's take a look at our vehicle as l the land suddenly rises out of the ocean. <clears throat> Alright, so load up. Which one was it? Was it Mooner Tickler? I think that was our official one. Yeah, this looks right. So. The vessel. It's got some Rocket Max parts to it and big old boosters to get it up into orbit. We've got a nice transfer stage, and up here. <clears throat> up here, we have our landing stage and hopefully our return stage. I don't know how well it will work, but it's got plenty of fuel on it, so it better work good. It really better work good. Also, I got some carbonite scanning stuff to see if we have carbonite when we land. Just because, yeah, useful to do. Let's see. I don't think there was anything else I wanted to add on here. There's this solar particle collector. I have no idea what that is. We're not going to touch it. I will check it out later. Our mission is just to get to the moon. <clears throat> I don't even think I have the drill necessary to get ore anyway, so don't know why I have the mission to get ore. But I do have it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get ourselves to Moon. Check our 
pilot. Was it Jeb or Val that I was going to send to Moon? I think Jeb. Yeah, we're doing Jeb. Okay, Jeb, you ready to go to the moon? I hope you are. <clears throat> Alright, so let's try to do a, a couple cuts. We're getting to the moon. It's very quick for you, very long for me. We're going to the moon. Alright, so that should have been a very, very short and pretty interesting clip for you. It's been like 20 minutes for me. <laughs> anyway, we are at the moon now with our with our spacecraft. We got Jeb sitting in here. Hello, Jeb. And we actually still have quite a bit of fuel in our in our transfer stage. So it's got me thinking, if I'm able to, why not just use the transfer stage to get us on our descent path towards moon and then abandon the stage so that it just explodes. And then I can just land with pretty much full tank of fuel here and head back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna take this maneuver and we're gonna burn hard. There, a full minute of burning. And that'll get us, get us coming down on, honestly, the best side of the moon that I would like to. Because on this side of the moon, all you have to do is burn straight up and you're already on your way back to Kerbin. Because you're canceling out your momentum going this way, which is exactly what you need to do to come back down. So, awesome. Let's just hope it works out like I'm thinking it will. Let's do a quick save. And... Scoot forward in time. I'm honestly amazed that I can't get any more science right now. I guess because I'm much, much too high. But there's a lot of crew and EVA reports I could be doing right now. <clears throat> that alone is kind of tempting to say, hey, you know what? We're going to just orbit around the moon for a bit. I can come back down later. I want to get down below like 60,000 meters. That way we can get a whole bunch of different biome science transferred back to Kerbin. And then I can land and get all the good science. Stop clicking on that. Okay, backspace. Alright, 50,000 meters, that is going to be more than enough. Gonna cancel that. And... Science collecting I go, I guess. Look at this, though. Our rocket's here just fine. We have plenty of fuel left to actually land on on moon this is one of my best attempts at landing on moon I've I've tried going here with a lot lower tech than than what I currently have before didn't work out very well I typically ended up crashing because I run out of fuel and my previous Kerbal Space Program series I ran out of fuel on the way back and had to push push the craft back with Jeb so overall we're doing much better than I've done in the past ever let's flip ourselves around at least 
Guys, we're going to bring bring our orbit down even lower. Good enough. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut away, collect some science, and then I'll rejoin you after I'm done with that because this could take a bit. Huh. This is actually a lot more science than I was expecting. We're going to... I'm just going to get a bunch of this stuff. I have a couple mystery goos, so I'm gonna decide which one's worth keeping. Uh, that one's probably better to keep. Transmit that. Orbital telescope, telescope observation. And a temperature scan. So much science to do. Keep that. Um, transmit that. We're gonna have an EVA to do. There we go. Also, material study. I think I have two material studies I can do. Ooh, that's actually worth a lot, so we're going to keep that most likely. And we're still not even close to our... our periap, so we're going to be here for a little while. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Keep toggle material by door. We're going to keep the telescope and the magnetometer out for now. And when I'm on the surface, I can go over this a lot better and decide what is worth keeping and what is not. Most likely, we're going to keep a lot of this stuff. I do have one more materials bay, so that one I'm going to reserve for the surface. Alright, so, huge amount of science, just collected. Still got a lot of space to traverse. And a lot of moon to cover. So, see you soon. All right, so we're coming up on the the burn to actually land on moon. I collected quite a bit of science. You can see 13 just from traveling around. EVA reports and magnetometer and... Well, actually not even magnetometer. I think I only got one magnetometer scan because it doesn't... It didn't go for each biome for the magnetometer, but the telescope got a lot of scans for that. Also, this should be closed. I don't know why that's open. Okay, it was just bugged. Oop, and we're supposed to be burning a while ago. Curse my absent-mindedness and not paying attention. Oh, we'll be landing on this side of moon. So... It's all good. Anywhere on this side of moon is perfect. I'm happy with it. It's just a question of where I'm going to land. Because there's not really any big craters to land in, so the train might be a little bit lumpy, we'll say. I almost couldn't have timed that much better. I'm pretty much out of fuel here. In fact, I am out of fuel here. Cool. Alright, activate the engine. <clears throat> Got pretty close to what we we're going for, I guess. That's useful. Let's make a quick save. It has been a long time since I've landed on Moon. And 
deploy the landing gear just preemptively. Whew, I am nervous. I really am. But I don't believe that we're going to be accelerating our descent at all. Just going to let it happen naturally. Click the signs on the way down. It seems smooth enough, I guess. <laughs> as long as we don't land on the side of a crater, which will be kind of unfortunate. It's going to take a while. All right. I think it's safe enough to start recording now. We're pretty low. Don't know exactly how low. I suppose I could check with the radar. And we're still above that, so... Nope, I just heard my debris explode, so probably a good idea to slow us down a little bit. At least drops to about 100 meters per second instead of nearly 300. so fast <laughs> uh, but this is good this is really good because we got the fuel to do this I hope <laughs> hope we have the fuel to return home I don't want to don't want to have a mission failure like that again Now, I really like this whole retrograde thing. And drop. <laughs> oh, we did it. We're landed. Congratulations, Jeb. You are the first Kerbal to have ever stepped foot on the moon. Well, you haven't stepped foot quite yet, but you will. Trust me. All this lovely, wonderful science. Just gonna transmit the crew report straight away. Laser surface scan. I can even transmit that right away. I didn't need to bring two of these. I wonder, can I? Scan analysis. Carbonate surface, 2.92%. That's a lot better than what we have at the Space Center, so it's, I guess, worth it. Magnetometer, material study, and mystery goo. The goo is as giddy as a schoolgirl. Interesting. Moon soil has mixed with one of the materials, producing a gray paste that is getting everywhere. Fascinating. Very faint magnetic field detected on moon surface. I wonder what that would actually mean. I don't really know much about magnetic fields, so it's all a mystery to me. But let's put the magnetometer away. Let's close these doors because they actually use electricity when they're open for some reason. Let's see. Review temperature data. That is worth 16. I'm, I know I have two different temperature datas. That one's worth 24. Okay, so we will reset this one, keep this one, do a temperature scan on the surface. It's worth a lot more, so it's good to have. Let's see, toggle sensors, toggle the doors. All right, the only thing we have left to do now is EVA. Alright, let's put that back in. Jeb, you need to hop out again.
Congratulations, Jeb. You are now the first Gurban that has ever touched, touched on the moon. Hope that makes you feel pretty cool. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything for you to do up here other than plant a flag, so that's what you're going to do. Plant flag. I, I can't really change the flag permanently, so it's most likely going to end up being this flag every time. Kind of annoys me, but whatever. Okay, we're going to call this... We came and tickled Moon with our feet. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so that's really everything I have to do. But this is honestly not that bad of a spot to potentially set up a set up a permanent base. It's fairly flat overall, so it'd be easy to land either space planes or regular landers. Driving a rover around wouldn't be too bad, and connecting base parts together would be pretty easy, probably. Alright, let's get you back into the ship, Jeb. Come on. Alright, hop in. Okay, dump the experiment. I already had it. Okie dokie, Jeb. Are you ready for your return home? Let's quick save. Now, theoretically, all we have to do is just burn. And we'll get back to Kerbin. So, I really hope this works. I mean, we do have a good amount of fuel, but <laughs> I always worry uh, about return trips. Dang it! <laughs> uh, I knew, I knew that this was going to be too good. <clears throat> Alright, let's actually quick load because there's another chance I have at this. As long as I can get below 65,000 meters or something like that, then I'm good. I probably wasted too much fuel on my descent burn. It's probably the case. If I do this... I start burning in this direction. That should bring us closer to Kerbin. Potentially. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I could could be just completely screwed. You know what? That was actually a lot worse. <laughs> Let's try the other direction. Look, I'm not very good on my orbital mechanics. <laughs> I'm just a guy playing a game. That's all I am. Whew. 
That's actually getting quite warm in my office. I'm gonna go take a nap. Nap sounds really good right now. I didn't get to sleep till way late last night. That was also bad. Very peculiar. could have swore that if you chose a one of the directions that it would do better. I guess we'll just go ahead and go back to just burning straight out. Of course, what this means is that I'm going to have to send up a rescue mission to actually return Jeb back to Kerbin, which will be quite fun. It really will be, because that means I'm going to have to try connecting a docking clamp to him, and then docking. Actually, I do have a harpoon, <laughs> so maybe I can just spear Jeb's ship and then forcibly re-enter it. Well, <laughs> I guess I'm re-entering this time. <laughs> this might not turn out well. I, I didn't expect us to get so low. But if that's the case, then I guess we have no choice but to give it a shot, right? Let's see what happens when we get there. Something tells me this is way, way too fast. <laughs> I mean, 3,000 meters per second seems like I should be dying very quickly. Oh geez, I am having to fight really hard just to try to keep the heat shield in line. <laughs> this is death. This has to be death. We're not dead. <laughs> We're alive. How are we alive? No, seriously, how are we alive? <laughs> how much of my... I didn't lose any ablator. What? <laughs> I'll take it. I think I might have done something that messed with the reentry effects a bit, so I'm going to have to tweak that in the, the settings, because we should have exploded. Weird. <laughs> I won't complain. I won't. Hey Jeb, you want to try a a quick EVA report? <laughs> oh, that was bad, yeah. <laughs> I thought it would be. <laughs> Still, that was fun. Anyway, we're alive. Somehow, for some reason. So, 
This is just completely ridiculous. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just get to the ground and back to the space center, so I will rejoin you there. Yeah! <laughs> oh, this is absolutely amazing! Look at all the science! Look at it all! <laughs> and yes, I even got the EVA report while flying over Kerbin's Highlands because I was foolish enough to step out once my parachutes were deployed. And it worked, so I got exercise. Hooray for me! Look at that! 32 different messages for this. When I left Kerbin, I had 15 point something signs. Upon my return, so much more. We easily can further Exaltech's research program and continue to produce high quality, not quite fuel efficient spacecraft. <laughs> uh, this is awesome. And look how rich we are because of our scientific progress. People are so impressed with our science and our research and the potential technology we can produce that they have just decided to dump a couple million, well, almost a couple million kerbucks right into our bank account. No questions asked what we spend, we'll spend it on in the future. They just want to be part of it. And we were pretty far from the space center, so we got a very, very, very tiny amount of our money back from, <laughs> from a rocket. But hey, at least we made it back. And Jebediah, five experience, no level up. <laughs> We're gonna have to send him to many more places to get him, get him better. But with that, it is definitely time to upgrade our research and development. It was pretty cheap, I know that. But I wanted to wait till we got to the moon first. <laughs> oh, I am excited. Let's see, heavier rockets and ooh, honey badger. I've never messed with the honey badger stuff for Umber Space Industries before. I don't even know if I want to. <laughs> it seems seems like a pretty heavy rocket, and I don't know what I would use it for. Precision propulsion, that's pretty good stuff. No idea why that's so white. Oh well. Uh, advanced fuel systems. Let's see, connector port, what's that do? I think this is, yeah, multi purpose port. Can plug a winch connector or for building pipes. So we can actually dock vessels together and transfer fuel between them. I've been waiting for this. I need this in order to make my my carbonite mining systems actually work. So that's good, we have that now. Specialized construction, lots more different construction options. Helicopter landing pads, docking ports, some refinery things, aeroponics module, agriculture modules. I'm thinking that we're going to need to get a space station built soon. That sounds smart to me. Actuators, this is a bunch of stuff that's for mech jeb, or not mech jeb. Uh, Infernal Robotics, along with a couple other things. Supersonic Flight. This is exactly what I need in order to get the atmospheric pressure stuff taken care of. Advanced Aerodynamics. That probably also would come in handy. Advanced Landing. More parachutes. More stuff like that. Pretty cool. Better control system things. Different command modules, I like it. Huh, different service bay. 
Not that I really need surface bays all too much. I, I'm sure they'll come in handy later on. But for now, they're just another option for me to store things in. Let's see. This is useful for ScanSat. ScanSat stuff. Cool. Precision engineering. Ah, yes. This is going to have a lot of good stuff for us. I have no idea what these herp things are. I've never messed with them. I'm going to have to check them out at some point. And better electronic stuff. Screwdriver. Useful. All right. So we're going to end this episode here. Hopefully I didn't go too long with it. It took me a while to get the episode done. But hey, going to the moon, it's not an easy thing to do. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, fave. I will decide what I'm going to unlock with my science in the meantime. Take care, guys, and goodbye.